Adding a JPEG to a background in Microsoft PowerPoint can really enhance the way your background graphics look. Many companies do this. There are a number of different ways you can do that though and it's going to help you um, determine how things are going to look when they print. What I'm talking about here to make this a little bit more um, maybe a less confusing is let's say I want to add an image in the background on all of my slides. Now of course I would do that by going to view to my view tab and then going into the slide master. Now typically what happens here is that instead of actually adding in the background graphic in the background, people sometimes come in and insert an image. I'm just going to add in um, my sample picture folder and I'm going to add in this image into the background. And they just add that image in by pasting it in. They might then send the image to the back so that it's behind the text boxes and recolor their text boxes. Not a bad thing to do, but let's close out of this view and notice what happens here. Now if I go to view and I changed my view to a grayscale, you can see that it's going to make that background graphic grayscale. This can waste a lot of ink if you have a long presentation to print and it can um, take longer to print because again it has to print all of that ink. If you want to make it so that the image will show up in the background but not necessarily print, you need to revisit the way you add the JPEG into the master slide. What you need to do, I'm going to go back into the master slide by going into view, going into master slide, and I'm going to go up to my main master here. I'm going to delete out that JPEG image. So instead of just plopping that JPEG in or inserting it on the slide, what I'm going to do on the master slide is on the slide master tab, I'm going to go into background styles. From here, I'm going to go down to format the background. From here, I'm going to add a picture or text fill. Now, obviously, the text fill is kind of ugly, so we're going to click on Insert a Picture from File. We're going to add in the same chrysanthemum that we had before. I'm going to go ahead and insert that in. And then I'm going to close that image. You'll notice it added it in behind everything because it technically sits in the background. I could then at this point change my font color, do whatever I wanted to do to maybe make it look a little easier to read. And I'm going to go back to the slide master and close out of this master view. Now when I go to view to see how this is going to print in grayscale, you'll notice that none of those background graphics show up. That's because the graphic lives in the background and it will only be displayed when you are projecting that presentation. It won't show up when you print it.